I would like to show you some of the nuances of the C30 digital harpsichord by Roland. First of all, we have developed the F scale keyboard with a very special action, just like the real acoustic harpsichord. From F to F. And notice how the action works. First, there is an easy action until the plectrum becomes in touch with the string. Then finally, the strings get plugged. There are other noises associated when you play every note in the harpsichord. First, take into consideration that as the plectrum plucks the string, on the way back, it's hitting a string that is still in vibration. So as the plectrum goes back by the string, you hear the release noise, and this is the way it sounds. Then there is the staggering of the strings. Of course, if all three strings, two eighths and a four, were to pluck at the same time, it would be very hard to hit the key. So very carefully, the harpsichord plucks one string at a time. First the four foot, then the eight, then the eight. The effect is like this. And finally, another noise associated with the harpsichord, which is the case of the harpsichord itself. Let's say that you are playing a passage that is fortissimo. Well, you are not only going to hear the sound of the strings, but you are also going to hear the sound of the wood, the case resonating. There are many other noises that are associated with the sound of a harpsichord. Roland has also captured those. Please, I encourage you to try one by yourself and start listening to all of those other nuances. There is another great function in this instrument. Of course, you know that a harpsichord cannot change the volume of the sound. No matter how hard you hit the key, no matter how gentle you hit the key, the sound is always at the same volume. Bach probably would have loved this feature. Roland has implemented a dynamic harpsichord sound. Listen to this. First of all, you will press the function button and select dynamic harpsichord. Now all the buttons for the harpsichord 8, 8 and 4 have become dynamic. Listen to the sound as I strike the keys with a lot of force. Now I strike the keys in a gentle way, the sound is softer. So again, with hard force, gentle touch. Imagine in those days, in the Baroque period, many composers wrote what so-called the echo effect, where the piece of music repeats later in a softer way. We can do that without having to change the stops of the harpsichord by using the dynamic harpsichord. First we press the notes with a hard force, then we repeat the notes with a gentle touch.